Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot, and I am here with Carly from Lilith's Window Tarot for episode 55 of Spilling the Tea with Carly and me. How you doing tonight, Carly? I'm great. Episode 55. I love it. Let's do I'm this. I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the energy of all 12 signs, starting with Aries. So Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Aries. Make sure the cards are going in the right direction. Okay. Okay. So that one wanted to come out. Flippers. Yeah. This one has a lot of flippers too. I don't know what the deal is. Okay. So there's emotional communication. Someone speaking a truth, trying to master their emotions to walk away. So somebody's really emotional about something. It has to do with ending something. And, and I feel like, Needing the patience to heal, needing to find balance to heal something, to transform, to balance, to heal. You have three major arcanas. And I feel like that's if it, whether it's an ending, somebody's walking away. They're mastering their emotions. They're speaking a truth. They're very emotional about it, right? This is an emotional ending and somebody walking away, but there could be an ending. And someone's, I feel like trying to give themselves room to heal. So like having the patience to take the time to do the work to heal is what I'm feeling with that temperance card. Um, I felt like somebody may have held on too long to somebody that was in and out of their life a lot, not giving a lot, somebody from their past, possibly this could be someone they have children with because you know, I feel like there could be children involved, but somebody could have been in and out of their life and they may have tried to hold on to the family situation, but they finally have given up on the situation. And I feel like they're transforming themselves by giving themselves, having the patience to heal themselves. I feel like this is about growth in, in an individual who's finally said, you know what, I'm going to love me first and then see what happens kind of thing. Because under the bottom of the deck, you have an emperor. Could be Aries energy doing this. Definitely could be Aries. We'll have what, like four or five planets in Aries here for a hot minute. It's a good time. All right. Somebody's, somebody's speaking a truth or has had kind of an aha moment of clarity. I think you had the Ace of Swords. I did. Um, Page of Pentacles, you know, they, they may very well just be speaking very honestly to someone about this Page of Wands, about going forward, um, having, uh, yeah, so they're ending something. So we've got, we've got the Ace of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands, and then we have this Ten of Swords. So somebody is being very honest um, with someone that they care about, um, or a situation that they care about, about, about going in a different direction. So ha take it as it resonates, whether it's a relationship or a partnership or a friendship or whatever it is. Um, something has ended. They've they made a conscious choice. Um, they've been thinking about this for a while. The universe has kind of been working on this energy for them, and they finally made a decision. Yeah, death. <laughs> so they're transitioning. They're just moving towards something new. Um, they felt backed into a corner for a while. Um, and here's that emperor. Good gravy. You can't make this up. Yeah. Okay. So so whatever has gone on, there's no growth. I just feel like there's there's something that's just been kind of not good for a long time. And somebody's made a conscious choice to walk away um, towards some physical growth, towards transitioning, you know, to the, their higher self. So whatever's going on here, whether this is you or your person, um, this is really just about someone who is really needing to connect with themselves and their higher power again. It's, it's nothing, it's, it, there's really nothing else going on here. Whatever has happened in the relationship has already happened. This person needs growth. Yeah. So. Self-love too. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's funny because we got a lot of the same cards on that one. Yeah, I, that, it's like, yes. Uh, okay, so Taurus, what's going on for our Taurus gang? What is going on for Taurus, please? So, options. Ooh. I feel like somebody's looking back at the past wanting a victory. And I feel like this is about love. So someone could be daydreaming about somebody they want to be with. And they're looking back at the past mistakes and, and they're wanting a victory here. They're manifesting this. They're manifesting because of a heartbreak moving forward. 
Okay, so manifesting a heartbreak moving forward. I'm going to clarify that. King of Wands energy. Judgment. Okay. A long time coming. Moving on. Okay. Taurus. Someone's very trapped in their head. Sleepless nights. I feel like you were daydreaming of somebody you wanted to be with here. And you kept looking back at past mistakes thinking, oh, okay, now's my chance. Now's my opportunity to, you know, to shine. I'm coming back from the battle victoriously, right? And, but, but in reality, you're manifesting a heartbreak and you're moving on. You do have somebody here. It's been a long time coming. So maybe you waited too long in this case to, to find the courage to go towards somebody. You're coming in as a king of wands energy. Um, like you've got that passion right there, right? It, to reconcile. But I feel like when you get there, you're not going to get the reconciliation. You're going to get heartbroken instead because you've been manifesting this for a very long time. But you've taken too long. You sat on sat on your your bull's butt too long. Okay, so okay. now you're having to move forward. You're you're taking. You know you're moving on. You're moving on. You're moving forward now. Um, but I feel like you you had the best of intentions. I feel like you just took too long doing it. And and when you got there, you didn't get the response you were expecting. That happens sometimes, you know, some, we try and manifest the things that we want, not realizing that they're not, they're not ours. It happens sometimes. All right. So we have some seven of swords. I feel like in this deck, it's almost like he's sad. It's like he's taking his losses and and moving on. Right. It's, it's like, he tr like, again, whatever, whatever this was, maybe it wasn't for him. His opportunity lies somewhere else. Yeah. Five of swords. So he kind of fought a hollow victory here. It didn't, he tried to win, couldn't win, um, you know, wanted this, this new beginning. And, and now he's going to have to kind of walk away from all of this, this work that he's done. Yeah. Gosh, nine of wands just kind of been through the ringer but the universe is you know the universe does what it does and this if this isn't for you they're telling you to stay strong that they're that they're still they're still working on on bringing someone to you this could be for whatever reason i almost feel like this is somebody who is trying to have kids and they've they've tried and they've tried and they've tried and it's just not working. They're about ready to give up. And the universe is saying, just hold up a minute. Hold up. Don't start obsessing. Don't stress. We're going to bring something to you. You're not going to expect it. It's going to come in when you least expect it. Um, you're up in your head. I just feel like you need to redirect. Yeah, it's stuck. Um, not talking about it. But it's affecting your home and your family. So uh, I feel like whatever, and I don't know, this isn't going to be for everybody because not everybody's trying to have kids, okay? But whatever, in whatever way a child comes to you or your life goes or whatever, that's the way that it's supposed to go. So if this is somebody that's walked away from a situation that, that they just couldn't figure out how to win in, um, change is coming quickly. Like this, this may not have been where you were supposed to go, right? But the universe is working on it. So um, I feel like just stay connected to your higher power. And really focus on yourself and your home and your family and that kind of things. And and the universe will bring to you what is yours when you're supposed to have it. Like here's the king of pentacles and then justice. Yeah. So stay balanced. Um, if this is in a relationship in regards to kids, stay balanced. Don't go crazy. If you've had to walk away from something that you really thought you wanted that just didn't work, change is coming. Just focus on yourself. I feel like we're coming, nice. out of, we're coming out of retrograde. That's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So Gemini, Gemini, what's going on for the Geminis? What is going on for the Geminis? Gemini season, I believe. I believe. It is. It is. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Hey. Hey. See, I would get in his creeper van. Look at that guy. I I feel like someone might be having a little bit of a obsession with sex right now. Like a little bit? Some, could be obsessed with that new passionate beginning. So, wow. Wow. 
Ten of Cups. So if somebody's obsessed with a new passionate beginning, Ten of Cups, um, to work on a situation, I don't feel like it's a third party at all. I feel like someone's working. Oh, it is. It is. Okay. Okay. Someone's guarded and defensive about um, a, a betrayal. They're guarded and a, there's a burden here. They're holding back. They're holding back or trying to hold on. No, they're holding back from moving forward. Um, I feel like there's fighting and arguing here, manifesting passionate communication for a long time. It's been a long time coming. Empress energy. Wow. Empress energy. I feel like there's a closing out of a cycle. Absolutely. Closing out of a cycle. 11-11. Wheel of Fortune. She's waiting for her person. She's closing out something and ending it. And she's she's closing it out, waiting for her, waiting for her divine timing or her what's faded in the 11-11. That's what she's waiting for after she ends something to start something new. Empress Energy. Um, it's been a long time coming. There's manifesting passionate communication, holding holding back, um, feeling like they need to go from rough waters to calm waters. But... Somebody was obsessed with sex here. And this person may have thought that that was your Ten of Cups. That isn't your Ten of Cups. There's a third-party betrayal here. And somebody feels very guarded and defensive about this burden. And I don't know what they're holding on to. I want to get clarity of what they're holding on to or holding back. Um, this is definitely a karmic. Um, I feel like there's emotional communication, somebody moving on. So somebody's holding, trying to hold on. This, I feel like, okay, this, this four, of, this, four of, <laughs> this four, this four of pinnacles, this four of pinnacles isn't the empress. This is the person who's obsessed with sex here. They're trying to hold on, keep them from moving forward. So trying to hold, hold you back from, from moving on right? Emotional communication, don't leave, kind of emotional communication about you moving on, manifesting a fight, right? Um, and this has been a long time coming. So I feel like the Empress has had enough. And the Empress says, um, you got the big, um, the big, your number one coming at you from the, the middle finger of this Empress. <laughs> Ten of just flipped for me. So there's yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but so she's moving forward and she's just going to wait for what the universe is meaning to send her. And that's what I feel like. She's waiting for this 1111, right? She's waiting, waiting for whatever the universe is sending her and moving on from this, this nonsense, this obsessed with sex person, whoever, whoever is just about, yeah. Trying to keep, I think that's somebody trying to keep them occupied so they don't go anywhere. I mean, you know. You're walking well, side to side. You can't get very far. <laughs> I think if you're trying to keep the whole county happy, <laughs> you might have a problem with an empress. <laughs> you are, definitely. So we do have somebody trying to offer something or somebody's looking at an offer, trying trying to figure it out, trying to understand where it's coming from. Well, it's coming from a queen of cups. So it's, an, it's and this being the page of pentacles, this queen of cups is really, is really um, set in what she wants to say. She, she's, um, she's got the biggest cup of love in the deck. She's highly intuitive. She's, you know, she's, she's much better at the verbal communication than the king of cups. So she's able to convey what she wants. So I feel like this is Gemini trying to figure it out, or this is you talking to somebody about what you want and you want them. Here's this queen of swords being very strategic. I think these are the same people. Just gonna say it. Um. Mm. Well, hold on. Now we have an empress. Okay, so um, I don't. I think that this offer is coming from somebody that she's gonna walk away from. That's what I think, because I think she's in pursuit of her higher self. So I think there's probably a situation where there's a relationship. Somebody is gonna walk away because they're. It's like they've just kind of um grown apart and this has been happening for a while this has been happening for a while um we do have the 11 11 card here so this could be this could be a twin flame situation guys people who are twin flames don't always end up together it's just the way it is but it definitely could be a marriage too um just trying to figure out what direction to go asking the universe for for some healing and for some help um 
I think somebody has a fight on their hands because there's there's two different energy sets here. Like it's it's all it almost just feels like somebody really wants to say, hey, please, you know, please work on this or let's do this or whatever. Um, I just feel like I feel like this this I think these are the same person. I think she's split. I think she cares about this person, but she knows she's got to move ahead. She's been thinking about it for a long time. Um, there could be a she could be calling in her twin flame. So whomever she's with now is is who she's you know not that was her karmic not supposed to be together forever. Um, it's just it, this is a struggle. This is a huge struggle. I don't know. I just feel like two separate sets of energy. Yeah, it's like somebody feels downtrodden and the other person feels enlightened. Um, so, but there will be a balance. Okay, so it doesn't matter what's going on here. Um, it's all for the best. I could say that about everything. But I do feel like there's two very separate sets of energy here. Somebody that really wants to make it work and is trying really hard, but you're kind of beating a dead horse because this person's already made their mind up. They've been thinking about it for a long time. Um, and here they're speaking about it. They're like, man, I think I'm going to go this way, you know, so you're looking at an ending either way you go. There you go. Boy. Yep. Okay. So we got the Kansas, Kansas, Kansas. Oh, Lord. Somebody said, why do I always start with the water sign? Pro because I am one. I'm just, going, I'm just saying. Going order. <laughs> Um, I, I, you know, I am a water sign and I, I don't know, I've always gone with the water, fire, and then I go with, um, earth and then I go with the sword. So see, earth is always air. my last, I, I don't have any, I don't have any earth placements in my natal chart, like in my birth chart. Yeah. So yeah. I got I got quite a few. I've got I've got a lot of Virgo um in my placements, but um okay, so let's get into cancer. What's going on for the Krabby Patties here? What's going on? A lot of communication. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Somebody's somebody's had enough about some kind of betrayal. Very guarded, very guarded, trying to Okay. There's a lot of communication here. A lot of back and forth movement. Somebody's kind of narcissistic. I mean, this is the five of swords wanting to win at all costs, play in mind games. Somebody was betraying somebody. They were in their ego. They betrayed somebody. And you got one is very guarded and defensive. And one's kind of scratching their head like, oh, my, my manipulations aren't working anymore, right? Because of this betrayal. Someone is trying to ground themselves. I'm feeling grounded energy with this temperance card to ground themselves to um, I feel like this person is trying to find peace to, to move something forward and hold on to something at the same time. So to continue to move something forward, but this communication is an argument or a fight that's been going on for a while about some kind of betrayal, the communication about somebody playing mind games, betraying somebody makes somebody very defensive. Somebody's very much, standing on guard right but let's find some balance and some peace to move this forward and hold on because you have somebody who wants to reconcile and heal a situation and see something from a different perspective so this person's trying everything they can to keep this person from walking out the door right um i feel like standing their ground um but somebody has regrets and i feel like they're re they're regretting a queen of wands yeah, because this person, yeah. So I feel, oh, okay. Somebody could be blocking their regrets about a queen of wands, like trying to block or stand their ground about how much they regret doing what they did with this betrayal with this queen of wands, because you have a 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, right? This is a family situation that's long-term and committed. You may have been with this person forever and you have kind of had enough this person is really trying to let you know that, look, I have blocked this person. I have regrets where this Queen of Wands was concerned. And in this case, I feel like the Queen of Wands is the mistress card, somebody who interfered in the situation because I have no other court cards on the board at all. 
but it does tell me that this is something that you've been in a family situation for a very long time. And that's why this person is, is, does not want you to leave. They want to reconcile and heal the situation. More of wands. All right. Could be a marriage with some secrets. Yeah, somebody is really working on how they're going to present something to someone, trying to figure it out. Um, yeah, this is definitely a marriage with justice and the and the four of wands. Um, they want to start over. It's like they want to they want to restart. They want a, a fresh start. And the wheel of the wheel of fortune is spinning in their favor. Okay, they're upset about something. Whatever you know, discontent could have been with their own behavior. If this is in tandem with with yours, Barb. I mean, it could have been something that they did that they wish they wouldn't have. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they were sneaky. They were sneaky snakes, and they they feel bad about it. Here's and we have ten of pentacles. So. Um, and we have the Hierophant. Okay. So there is a, there is a marriage, absolute marriage. Okay. Guaranteed. Um, that has some secrets and somebody is really trying to figure out how to communicate and, and convey to their person that they want to be with them. They want another start. They want to move forward. They, they are upset about what they've done and you are their forever relationship. So it's up to you what you do with it. If this is you, it's up to your person, whether or not they, they stay or go, um, you know, and this could be, I mean, this could be a, 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 a partnership, a romantic thing, a business, it could be anything, take it as it resonates for you, but somebody did something sneaky and they're not proud of, they're upset about it, they want to turn over a new leaf and, and start over. So there you have it. There you go. There you go. Okay. So what's going on for Leo? What's going on for the Leo? I don't Leo know. Apparently thing? we're just being mistresses. <laughs> See, and I wouldn't even look at that like that because to me, to me, if it's a third party, it is the queen of wands. And it's only because she's so passionate. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some Leo in me, so I ain't even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So Leo, somebody is trying to move, move on from some kind of deception passionate communication to heal somebody's trying to get past someone's very trapped in their head divine timing something's faded for somebody to offer that cup it's causing a tower moment and i feel like they're, they're seeing something they're going within that light's shining on something they're getting the clarity that they need they're doing some self-reflection right somebody that you haven't spoken to in a long time with that they feel like they've missed an opportunity not speaking. They feel like they've missed an opportunity here, right? To move this forward. So, you know, the fool sometimes can be somebody was a fool and they deceived you, right? With that deception. Um, but also this could be forward movement. This could be non-committal. This could be a lot of things. The fool could be all kinds of things. And in this case, next to the decep deception, could have been this person was noncommittal or this person may have moved on um, into some kind of deception. Passionate communication now is to heal the situation. This person wants to heal. Um, they're very trapped in their head. Divine timing's at play because this is something that's meant to be for you guys. With that night, I'm feeling the energy of, I need to offer my cup. This is a tower moment. This person's like, this is like, you know, when you finally have that aha moment and think, oh my God, what did I do? You know, this is not where I'm supposed to be. This is not what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my energy on something that's, that's, like not meant for me, right? Um, because that tower's falling and somebody, because somebody has really gotten the clarity they need. So it's almost like you're getting a download from the universe saying, what are you doing? Why are you with this person? Or why are you doing what you're doing? What are you doing? So especially divine timing, the tower and, and the hermit, all clarity, all clarity. You see who you need to be with. You see you see who you need to be with, with these two cards, right? To move forward to success, but you haven't spoken to this person. You're not speaking about it. You haven't spoken to whoever this is, and you may have missed the opportunity. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, Barb. Wow. Okay. That just caught me off guard. Okay. So we have something ending, something transitioning, something coming. Um, 
wow, it's been a long time. Somebody's exhausted. They've been manifesting whatever this is. And now the universe is, is kicking it up a notch. It's like you're manifesting and they are tempering this energy to bring it to you in the right time. Um, so that you can have victory. It's card of Leo right there. Card of Leo right there. Victory, happiness. Oh, shnikes. Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. Let me just gather myself here. Breathe, breathe, girl, breathe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this this right here is beautiful. Leo, you are exhausted. You have been manifesting like crazy. The universe is like, hold on, take a minute, get a breath, let me work on this, okay? Because if you manifest any harder, anyway. <laughs> So yeah, you have something that you you needed to say. You have you haven't said it, but you need to say it, or maybe somebody needs to say it to you. Whatever it is, it's it hasn't come all the way to light yet, but it's it's heading your direction with this six of swords. It it it's it's heading your direction. It's coming in. Um, you have been dreaming of it and dreaming of it and dreaming of it, and now it's finally going to be a reality. Yeah, an, a leap of faith with um somebody who may have broke your heart in the past, or this could be getting past your broken heart. Um, yeah, you, they've, you both are watching each other. I don't, I, you both are watching each other. There is, I feel like this is the energy between the two of you all the time. It's like constant push, pull back, forth, on, off, hot, hey, cold. Us. Yes. All the time, just all the time. And even if you have not spoken to this person for a while, which I don't think you have, this is still the energy. Fives and tarot are about change. Something's getting ready to change. It's brewing. What's brewing? A reconciliation exciting a reconciliation look at that I, I don't even i can't with this <laughs> see see mm -hmm. i'm telling you i'm telling you so and i feel like the energy i was reading might not even be leo's it could be the other person That'll like happen. whoever whoever you're dealing with is getting a smack on the back of the head from the universe like yeah I feel like for your reading, I kept wanting to say, like, it's like they've been trying so hard to make this work, that the situation that they're in, that yeah. they just, they're strolling down the train tracks and they didn't see the train coming right at them. And now they're like, oh, I see it. I better go this way. <laughs> don't, don't be wearing those earbuds on the train track. That's not a smart thing to do. No, it's not. But sometimes, yeah. you know, we just get hyper-focused, especially if we feel uncomfortable. Yeah. It happens. Absolutely. Okay, so Virgo, what's going on for the Virgo gang? What's going on for the Virgo? Someone's mastering their emotions to make a decision to heal something, to move forward. They've gotten the clarity that they need it's causing them a tower moment because they're seeing something from a different perspective now. Wow, and you've got a lot, a of, lot major of major arcana. arcana. <laughs> a lot of major arcana here. So you've got you've got um five out of seven of these cards are major arcanas for, for Virgo. Virgo, you're 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 fixing to figure something out real fast. And and you're you're really in your head about it. You're mastering your emotions. You're getting you're seeing things for yourself, especially with with mastering your emotions with the hermit card, which is Virgo energy anyway, you know, mastering your emotions and getting that clarity, doing that self-reflection that you need to all to make a decision. Like what path am I going down to heal a situation, to move it forward? Could be with a cancer, could be with an Aquarius, could be with a Virgo, could be with a, could be with a um, um, Pisces. It could be with an Aries and Scorpio as well. So a lot of majors here, um, a lot of you making a decision because you have actually done the self-reflection you need. Now, uh, one thing that I have to say here, you may travel for a living with this. And I feel like those hours that you're logging on the road Deep is when this, <laughs> when this happens. Yes. When you're when you're doing your soul searching is when you're by yourself and you could be traveling in a vehicle. I'm just saying yeah. it's about yeah. you. You really come into a conclusion. You really figuring it out. It's interesting. That's a really good reading for Virgo. And I it like is. That, that. I like that that King of Cups showed up with that hermit because they're really trying to utilize all of their senses and all of their awareness. To Absolutely. It out. So I like that. All right. Three of Cups. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I feel like 
somebody is 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 walking away from a situation and I, it could be a relationship it doesn't really matter but i think that um i think this 3 of cups for me right now is they were just living in a way so that they didn't have to think about their problems whether it was they're going out to the bar or they're hanging out with friends there was a distraction and now it's time to move forward and really face that darkness with the moon card here really face whatever it is that they need to face whatever is going on queen of cups so yeah so whatever is they need to face their emotions they need to get this in check whatever is going on they're walking away from you know fun or it could i mean it could even be a third party but it was a distraction from where they're really supposed to go the universe has somebody in their energy that is that is supposed to be there yeah they're being distracted it's like they get this person on their mind and they're like oh i better better deflect but they're not going away so you're gonna have to just go within and figure it out and make a choice whether it's this person yeah geez i said make a choice i have the lovers make a choice because you can't distract yourself from someone or something forever it's not going to work so face whatever has happened whether there was an ending and this is somebody trying to come back around you don't have to be with them but their energy is still lingering for a reason okay somebody made a bad decision but this is very this is very much soulmate energy. I mean, we've got the six of cups and the lovers. That's that's a lot there. And the wheel of fortune. So if this is guys, if this is a relationship that maybe didn't work the first time around and you have been doing everything you can to try to just not think about it, you need to think about it. You need to get in your feels and you need to get in your brain and you need to make a choice. Okay. Was that ending the end? Or do you want to go forward? Um, it looks like this person is ready to, you know, have equal give and take. Um king of pentacles you know it, this could be you this could be your person either way and then we also have <clears throat> lord we also have um the emperor here so you know this person um may very well have elevated from being a player and here's the king of cups so now we have a pair right they're just as stressed as you are they want to come together and build and um here's the queen of pentacles we've got two pairs so whatever is going on if you want to take somebody back, that's the reason they're still in your energy is because there's still an opportunity to make that work. If that's not what you want to do, don't do it. Okay. I'm just saying that's, that's the reason people stay in our energy. Typically, even when we've done everything we can possibly do to try and get them out of our energy, it's like, they just keep turning up like a bad penny. <laughs> there you go. There's there a reason. You go. There's a reason. <laughs> okay. So we are doing Libra. What's going on for Libra? What is the energy for Libra, please? Libra, this is a card. Ooh, you have some stuff happening. You have some stuff happening, Libra. You're coming in. You're coming in as yourself here with justice. Not only that, justice and the king of swords. You're, you're showing up really strong in your reading right now, okay? King of swords always intends to win. Knows his opponent knows what he needs to do truthful but very like there's no bones about this person they don't take any any s off of anybody right but look somebody was making a head over heart decision to cut something out this is the only two of swords that uh, as many decks as i have that you have the crows like it's almost like this person's being attacked to make a decision you know, like, you ever remember the, the movie The Birds when we were little? You know, back in the day. That that movie, that's kind of what, <laughs> that's the, it's got the birds energy, right? Oof. Right? And here, that this person's chasing this bird off. It's almost like, nah, I, I, I got this. You know, you got King of Swords. The bird's sitting over his shoulder now like, oh, I'm mellow. I ain't going to attack you no more, right? He's chasing them off. He's like, he's not taking any of this nonsense. Like, I'm making my own decisions when I'm ready, and I'm going to have justice here to move forward. So whatever this is, it, whatever is like the monkey on your back here that's trying to keep you from making, it's almost like, look at this card. It's so, the depth of this card. You see the chords in this card? Those are, card. I love that deck. With the cords, it's almost like they're trying it. I know it looks like hair, but it also like looks like they're attaching themselves with cords here. Or they could be just pulling her hair. But I feel like it's being chased away. I feel like whatever this is that you need to make a decision to cut out is being chased away. It is literally being chased away. But it's being chased away by your own power. You, you pulling out the sword and you're like, mm, I'm not playing. 
I'm not playing. I'm going to handle it. Not a problem. So whatever is trying to, to mess you up, you stand your ground. You definitely stand your ground here. With this wounded warrior, you've had enough and you're, you're, you're fighting back. So whatever the decision is that you have to make to cut something out, you're standing your ground. It's being chased away. And what's coming for you after that is happiness Clear and scouted. celebration. And it's what, you, it's what you've been waiting for. There we you've go. been waiting for this happiness and celebration. But whatever you're being attacked by is being chased off by your own power. Just know that. I love that. I love it. 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 All right. Well, here we have the card of Libra, Justice. And we have the Hierophant. So somebody's getting schooled in some justice about a bad decision. Um, Empress Energy. So let's see here. Whatever this is, I feel like this is was somebody or something trying to cause you to lose traction you know, trying to hold you back. Um, but yeah, you're like, does my, does my butt look big as I walk away from you and your drama? <laughs> so you're, you're happy. You're, you know, they're not, they're not going to distract you with whatever, whatever it is. You're manifesting like crazy queen of wands. So you could be pulling that energy. Like, listen, I, I, I'm going to uphold myself, you know, to a, to a high standard. You are not going to, you're not going to knock me down. And the star, wow, I like the magician and the star together a lot. And the empress. Okay, so whatever is going on here, um, you are, you, yeah, something, something's coming towards you. I feel like um, people are trying to keep you from leveling up. It's, it's like, and I don't know if it's multiple people or if it's just one person, but it doesn't matter because you are, you're going forward. You're not letting anybody get you down. We have the pre-empress and the empress here. It's like, they want to hold you back, but there you go. You're going forward. You're, nobody can stop you. This is very, very fast, forward, beautiful energy. Like, it's gorgeous. I love the Empress and the Magician and the Star. Love it. Yeah. New I beginnings, creation, and healing. Yeah. And Absolutely. It's like, and it's like, it's literally, it's just, it's coming right in. It's like, it's landing right on you. Nobody can keep you down right now, Libra. That's what I'm saying. Good for you, Libra. Excellent okay. energy. Excellent. Okay, so Scorpio, what's going on for the Scorpios? Okay. Uh, that's so funny. Does my butt look big when I'm walking away from your troll? <laughs> Carly, the, things, the things that you say sometimes, I think I say some funny stuff that just pops out of my mouth once in a while, but some of the stuff you have makes me die laughing. I don't know. I remember something about the county fair and a chicken one time I that I, I cannot can't remember. I can't oh, remember. My God, that was about. freaking hilarious. I know. Okay. Out of my mouth, it happens. If, if okay. this channel was not like, if we had, didn't have to worry about stuff, yeah, we would be off the hook. <laughs> oh, it would be. It would be. Because, you know, my favorite words are all four letters, usually. You know, and most honest people are like that. Uh, okay, so Scorpio. Scorpio, you have, you have a family situation moving forward. Uh, you're closing out some kind of a cycle. You're ending something to start something new that you're working really hard at, right? So you, I feel like you could be working to close this cycle out so that you can move this family situation forward. So you literally could be moving a family, right? Um, and you're trying to just like tie up loose ends. It could be tying up loose ends at work, closing out, ending stuff to start something new. That's what it could be. Uh, it's causing you a lot of stress. You're stressed out. Queen of Cups, you're stressed out, right? You're trapped in your head. This is causing you a lot of anxiety. And I feel like somebody literally could just be trying to move forward, move, move uh, a family situation. I almost feel like you're trying to move a house. But you got to yeah, tie up move, the loose end. Move for a job, like move, but like a yeah. job is going to move, and now they're like, "Oh my god, I don't know if I want to yeah. go." Yeah, look at look at this. You're 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 like daydreaming, daydreaming of this this offer or whatever this is. You're you've got an offer coming in, and you're just that's like your it could be your dream job. You may have to move for your dream job here, but boy, you're all tied up in yourself. Look, this is your energy, Scorpio. You are. Having sleepless nights, feeling like you just can't sleep. You're all in your head. Queen of Cups, 
eight of swords. You're in your head. You're stuck in bounds. You're having panic attacks. You need to just take, this is what your energy needs to look like. You need to clear out all of this because you got a lot of bats in the belfry there. Look at that. Yeah. And you're, yeah, you're very like much daydreaming of this. I feel like it's, yeah. it's a good thing. It's just calm down, take a breath. The universe would not have put you on this path if it was the wrong path. So just Oh no, yeah, I feel like it's it's what's meant for you. Absolutely. But you're just very you got to close out the in in things, close them out, tie up loose ends so you can move forward. Okay. All right, Scorpio. There you go. You planted some seeds and now you're thinking about it. You're waiting for something. Waiting for something to come to you. It's coming in divine timing. The universe is at work. Um, yeah, it's like you're trying to figure out where to go, what to do next, or something based on, um, based on what the seeds that you've already planted. There is an offer coming in. Um, okay, so we've got justice, and then we have the emperor. Look at him in this deck, or no, the king of swords. Sorry, look at him. Doesn't he look? He's a stud. Dude, yeah. it's like, whew, let's not mess with him. <laughs> but I feel like you've got you've got something coming in that's going to balance everything. Yeah, you have a new opportunity coming. You do. You've got this. You've planted these seeds. You've done this work. And here here it comes. You know, somebody's bringing you this this opportunity. Um, and here's we've got the world card again. You had it right. Yeah. Um, I I do. I feel like this is this is potentially um a move or a change, a big change, but. Um, oh, I love that. It's, it's something that you've wanted, that you've held on to, that you feel very emotional about. It's been a journey and something has to look at that. Okay. Something has to end for something else to begin. That's all I'm even going to say. Okay. Because this is literally yeah. the journey the of world. life that everyone yeah. is on. Like, this is it. This is, you know, this is the world card. It's, it's just cycles, right? Something ends. So something else can begin, but whatever you've got coming towards you is beautiful. It's gorgeous or whatever you're going towards, whatever it is, it's for you. It's meant for you. It belongs to you take it yeah get out of your head and just grab that brass ring you know right yeah. yeah yeah okay so sagittarius sagittarius what does the sagittarius need to know okay what do we got what do we got we got a reconciliation somebody someone's reconciling a relationship you're ending something to start something new. You're being strategic. You're not showing emotion. You're not speaking of the past. You're letting go. I feel like you're letting go of the past. The, the, you kind of blocking, blocking it for it's been a long time coming. Queen of Pentacles, walking away. Queen of Wands, blocked. Ah, there may be confused. There may be, okay. Okay, someone may be confused about your decision. But here's what I, I see. I feel like your judgment, this is not reconciling a relationship. Your judgment about this relationship is to, to end it. Because someone is very strategic and they don't show emotion. They're kind of very cold energy, right? So you're making a judgment about a relationship to close out the cycle with the King of Swords here. And you're not speaking about it. You're not saying anything, right? Um, it has to do with your past. And you're kind of guarded and defensive. You're you're kind of um, with this the wounded warrior. You know you've you've had enough, right? You've had so many battles already. You fought the good fight. You still have one wand left, and you you still can you still can take a person out with that one wand, right? This has been a long time coming. I feel like your energy right now, Sagittarius, is that of the the Queen of Pentacles. You're very solid. You're stable. You're dependable. Um, you know, you could be a mother, you could, you know, whatever this is, you're walking away. And I feel like this queen of wands, the queen of wands is this king of swords energy. And you're blocking this person and they may be confused about why, but you, you have your reasons. You've made your final decision about a relationship that doesn't serve you anymore. And you're letting go of whatever this is. It could be someone, you could be either dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Aries, Leo, or Sag. But I feel like this Queen of Wands energy, well, this actually, this could be you. 
Now that I'm saying Sagittarius, okay, you're you're the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. You're walking away, Queen of of Wands, right? And you're blocking you're blocking whoever this was, this King of Swords. You're blocking this person, and they're confused why. They're confused why you're still coming in as a Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. This is who you're walking away from. Those creepy birds. <laughs> Those creepy birds, yeah. Ooh, all right. We've got the devil, Capricorn energy, and somebody's making a choice. So somebody could um let's let's get a little more. All right. I feel like somebody has been really obsessed with where they're going next, what's coming, what choice they need to make. Um, and they could have also been, you know, they may very well be turning their back on some negativity, right? It's, I feel like they're trying, yeah, they're trying to move past whatever is going on that's kept them in a, in a bad place. Yeah, they want to move forward. They want to heal. They want to get where they're supposed to go. And the universe is, is going to allow that. It's going to cause a tower moment. Um, mm. There's a tower moment coming for someone in a long-term committed relationship. I don't, I don't ever like that. But okay, okay. So here's the deal. Even if you were in a long-term committed relationship, okay, if it's toxic, if it's negative, if it's just not working anymore, okay, if there's no growth, you have to look forward. I feel like the universe supports that decision, okay? It's going to burn down the whole damn house. I, there's no other way around it. And you're going to have to rebuild and you're going to have to do it single, whether you're a male or female. It doesn't matter, okay? This, this long-term commitment was meant for you, but only for the amount of time that it worked for you. If it's not working for you, it's not meant for you anymore, okay? You have to learn what we're supposed to learn. But you are in a lot of turmoil about this decision, trying to move forward with this burden, you know, trying to gain some strength while moving forward, trying to find your way to end a cycle and heal yourself because you feel stuck and you want to walk away. You've chosen happiness already. Okay, I could go through the whole thing. Um, so just move towards the the light and not the dark, okay? If it's if 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 you guys know, you've all been in crap situations before, right? They don't always start out that way, but if it ends up that way, you got to go. You have to go. So go towards the lights. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay, so Capricorn. What does the Cappies need to know? What does Cappy need to know? What does Capricorn need to know, please? Oh, okay. So some kind of burden, someone's trying to balance, find some peace, looking at something from a different perspective to heal for their happiness for a long time in a family situation. Okay. We're, you got 10 of pentacles and you're looking back on mistakes. You want to offer somebody. And I feel like you're going to tell them the truth. Okay. So whatever burdens that you have, whatever burdens that you had, you're trying to find peace and balance. You're trying to balance them out. You're looking at things differently. You're trying to heal the situation. You want your happiness here for the longest time with someone from your past. So you may have children with somebody. It's long-term and committed here, you know, with somebody from your past. So you may have been with this person for a very long time. And you're looking back on past mistakes. And you're, you're saying, look, now it's time for me to step up to the plate. Right. And now I'm rushing in to tell this person, look, this is where I'm at. I I figured it out. I figured it out, honey. I figured it out. Figured it out. <laughs> All right, Capricorn. Wanting to heal something or really thinking about um, something for a long time, thinking about taking a leap of faith or starting over um, from a situation that you felt stuck in. So, yeah, I, I feel like you know, there was some stagnant energy and you're like, you know what, I'm not doing this anymore, but it's causing a little bit of a, a disruption because maybe not everybody is on board. Um, I feel like it's almost like the hard work you put into something you have to walk away from. I, yeah. And it, you're sad. You feel it as a loss, um, but you've made your decision. Mm. And you know, it's, I feel like you're heartbroken and so is your person. That's what I feel like. Um, yeah, so this King of Cups has mastered his emotions, but he's not very good at, at talking about them. So this just could be something that you feel very deeply. I, I really feel like you feel it very deeply. Um, but you're going in pursuit of your, you know, your happiness, that spark. And this could still be in the same relationship, guys. You're going yeah, to have to put in the work. 
Um, but you're going to get a reward. Your ships are going to come in, stay strong, make good choices, and be ready to transform whatever this is, whatever this relationship or situation is. Be ready to transform it because I don't necessarily see an ending. The first card out was wanting to heal um, and, ta and take a leap of faith and get out of this, this stuck energy. And I don't necessarily see that, that there has to be an ending. There may be. You may choose to end it, right? Um, but you're manifesting. So just let the, just, you know, do, do what you need to do to, for self-preservation. Don't ever do something for another person. But if there's a chance to make it work and you feel like you want to, don't worry about what anybody else says either. Don't worry about, because I mean, this five of cups and this three of swords, you guys are both hurting. So if there's, if you want to heal it, heal it. If you don't, don't, but there's still an energy there to be able to, to rescue hey. that relationship. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Nice. So Aquarius, what does the Aquariuses need to know? What's going on with the Aquariuses, please? Okay, so you have somebody watching or spying. It could be a third party on a King of Pentacles and it's causing a tower moment because somebody is getting the clarity and moving on to offer their cup. And move forward to a new beginning with their pre-empress. So I feel like if you have a third party that's spying on you, watching you, you feel like, yes, it's causing me a tower moment. I feel like, I feel like, I can't even say what I'm, what just hit my head, what, what they just, what they just said to me. But, um, uh, they can be very direct and sometimes um, bold. Let's just put it that way. But you know that there's a third party, a third party watching you, and it almost feels like you feel like you're you're um, you're under glass. Like you're, everything you do, they watch you. Like you, you're you're afraid to look over your shoulder in the bathroom. You might find a camera there. You know what I'm saying? You feel this person's always watching you, and it is really. I feel like it's causing you a tower moment. It's causing you like um, I've had enough of this. I've had enough of this, and you've got all the clarity you need to move on, to move away from this to travel away because your, your mind is to want to be with one person and move forward. And, uh, and this is a new beginning for you. Uh, start over with your pre empress. Look at, look at them. I love this. How look, let me offer you this and look, for, she's reaching for it. She's reaching for that. So you have somebody that is your person that you're going to try to start over with, but you do have a third party that's, up in your business, watching everything you do. Ain't that the way it goes? All right. Emotional communication about somebody that has some regrets. I feel like they they have a little bit of mature energy. You're trying to ward them off. I don't know who this is. Um, sure, what you're working on yourself. You're like, don't mess with me. I'm trying to keep myself in check. Um, yeah, I like. I'm trying to, you know, take care of my family and my home and my money and my stability. Uh, yeah, it's like you're running away from them. You're like, kids, get in the damn car. We're out. Yeah. <laughs> we, we'll yeah. yeah. You're out. I, I feel like whoever this is, is this is kind of my F-boy card sometimes. It's like, well, I can tell you what it's like, but I'm not going to. Okay. It's like meeting somebody and you think they're a grown-ass person and then all of a sudden you realize that they're not. You're like, oh, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, you're moving forward by yourself. Um making yourself happy, cutting out all of the drama and all of the BS and transitioning into something better, something happier. I feel like you're, you know, you're, you're moving forward like a new day is dawn. You know, the sun is coming up here. You're tired of whatever is going on here. It's exhausting. So you literally have packed up the car and you're out, you're gone. Like I'm done. There so you go. You could very well be moving. I mean, this is right at the center of the read, but you're like going towards something else. Oof. Okay. So let's see what Pisces has to say. What's, oh, Pisces. The, what's the Pisces have to say? All my baby sharks. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> All my baby. God, they're going to hate us. They're going to be like, why did you do that? Okay. So Pisces, I feel like somebody's wanting to heal something long-term and committed. They could, be, they could be watching somebody moving on. It could be watching somebody move on and it's causing them a tower moment, right? 
Um, somebody here is wanting a victory to hold on to a situation. Um, and they're very in, in their head. Queen of Wands energy. It could be an offer or offering wish fulfillment. Okay. Just dropped all my cards. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like right here, I like you want to heal something long-term and committed. You may be watching somebody move, move on. So they're, you're watching them as they're traveling or they're moving, right? And it's causing you a tower moment because you definitely want success here holding on to a situation and it's causing you a lot of stress, right? But I feel like this queen of wands is offering somebody wish fulfillment. So you may have you may have a third party that's offering somebody wish fulfillment, and that's why you're seeing somebody leave um, something that you want to heal with somebody. And I, you know, I just feel like you know. Look at this. Look at this. In this card, they have the Christ grid in that pinnacle on the wall. Isn't that gorgeous? Sorry, um, I just feel. I just feel like whatever this is, it's causing you a lot of anguish because you want success holding on to this relationship. But I feel like this person is just offering this person wish fulfillment. You know, this queen of queen of wands is offering wish fulfillment here. Okay. So interesting energy. Mm -hmm. All right, Pisces. You're looking one way and walking the other. You're distracted by a third party stuck in your head you need to make a choice for your future and i don't know where that came like i literally like you were walking one direction and looking the other um you don't you don't have you don't have you're not focusing on one thing you are trying to figure something out um and you need to make a decision you're not talking about it but you are yeah you're moving away from something um which is is kind of obvious i mean like you know the you have to make a choice you have to pick one so you have to go towards something which means you have to walk away from something else right um, so you could be walking away from a queen of pentacles, you could be walking towards, heck, I don't know, but you've got to make a choice either way, either way. Um, this could be a reconciliation coming back around to rebuild something. Um, king of, <laughs> okay. So, um, there could be, you know, Pisces, you could have had a, um, you could be walking away from a queen of pentacles to go towards a king of wands, male, female, doesn't matter. Um. You've got some regrets. You want to heal something um, that could have been toxic in the past or you're moving away from something toxic. Um, take it as it resonates. OK, but regardless, there's a choice here. And it's 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 really it really is like you're just kind of stumbling. You are literally like looking one way and walking the other. You have got to make a choice. You've been distracted. You've got to make a choice. So do what do what you need to do. Go within, connect to your higher power. But you've got to You've got to make a choice. You can't stay in this energy. And we've got a lot of cards of choice here. So. Wow. There you go. <laughs> okay, guys, don't forget to go to both of our channels. Like, share, subscribe, share this out so uh, we can continue to do this every week. And like always, we hope, we hope you all have a wonderful week. We'll see you next time.